The Sea Lion Plan was a landing operation plan formulated by the German Army for the British Isles during World War II. Although at the time, Germany's overall strength did not provide the conditions for the implementation of this plan, and it seemed more like a bluff to scare Britain, Germany was not purely bluffing Britain into surrender. Germany did have some amphibious capabilities, and the Landwasserschlepper LWS, amphibious tractor was prepared for such operations. The German army proposed the development of amphibious trailers in 1935, and the following year, Rainmetal began formal research work. However, the overall development progress was slow, and it had not yet entered mass production by the start of World War II. In the fall of 1939, the first batch of three prototype vehicles was completed, and a few more were added the following year. They underwent comprehensive testing by the Army Weapons Office to prove their practical value. In the Sea Lion plan, they were also assigned to tank units. The main role of the LWS amphibious tractor in landing operations was expected to be transportation, towing, and other tasks. They were responsible for directly transporting soldiers to the shore, or towing vehicles and other equipment onto the shore in shallow waters or on beaches. They also continued to transport supplies from cargo ships to the beachhead when the tide receded, and for this purpose, a non-powered amphibious trailer was specifically developed to enhance transportation capability. This was essentially a non-powered boat hull with wheels that could tow 10 to 20 tons of cargo. The LWS weighed approximately 13 tons, had the appearance of a motorboat, with a fully enclosed cabin structure and observation windows on the sides. The overall length was 8.6 meters, width 3.16 meters, and height 3.13 meters. It could accommodate 20 soldiers or equivalent weight of supplies, as long as they could be squeezed into the cabin, in addition to two crew members. The bottom featured a tracked walking structure with eight pairs of load-bearing wheels, using a leaf spring suspension, and two duct propellers at the rear. It was powered by a V12 Maybach HL120 engine, with an output of 300 horsepower, a maximum land speed of 35 km per hour, and a maximum water speed of 12 km per hour. It is important to note that the LWS amphibious tractor did not have armored protection or weapon configurations, unlike the later Allied amphibious landing craft. According to the German Army's plan, they intended to allocate two LWS vehicles to each transport barge to complete unloading as quickly as possible. However, during the German Army's experimental tests, it was also pointed out that the LWS had some problems, such as being too tall and lacking necessary protection, making it too dangerous to land under enemy defensive fire. In addition, there were also some problems with mass production, possibly due to the inability to fully utilize existing production lines. By 1942, a small number of LWS vehicles entered battlefield use and performed well on the Eastern Front, as well as in the battles for islands in the Baltic Sea. In 1944, Germany developed the LWS-2 based on the chassis of the Panzer IV tank, while the original LWS basically exited the battlefield. Some sources claimed that the total production was 21 vehicles, making it a very niche weapon system. 